Cause Billy Billy is not my lover It's not the platform that I upload to David. Andrew. And welcome to another episode of Fung Bros Food. Guys, today we are eating authentic Beijing food. But you know what's special about this? Because we've covered Beijing food before. We're not eating any Peking duck. And anytime someone visits Beijing, they have to get Peking duck. Because that's what the emperor ate, that's what's considered high-end food, that's what's very expensive too. And guess what they would serve at the low tier, which would maybe be like a college cafeteria in Beijing? Shandings. This is like a common food for like regular people at home, at school, at work. This is what they eat. This is what keeps Beijing moving. Yo, you say that? Let's go! Oh yeah, and by the way, we got a special guest. Person who studied in Beijing who's from China. Let's go. Okay, we are here with a special guest. Our favorite. Super special guest. Our, our Beijing Lao Gummer. Yeah, our Jiemer. Beijing. Lao Jiemer. Jiemer? Yeah. Oh, Jiemer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Jiemer's for a girl? For girl. Right, oh, Jiemer. Oh, for I never heard Jiemer. I only heard Gummer. But maybe it's because I only know guys. That's my Jiemer. You only hang with God. Yeah. yeah. So, yo, <laughs> this is Nasty Ray from Beijing. I'm Jig. with my Lao Jiemer. Yifan. Yeah. All right, Yifan. If you guys did not watch our Jam Bing video, you are from Changsha originally, but you studied for many, many years in Beijing, and now you're here out in LA. In, at USC. At USC. Wow. Had a rep. I'm smart. You're originally from the South, yeah. but you lived for a long time in the North. Yifan, before we did this video, you told me. Yeah. Yeah. What did you tell me about Jam Bings? They're so common. Yeah, it's as common like, as what? As common as rice. Wang usually go to a restaurant and ask for Jam Bing specific, because they're like very common homemade food. Right. You can make it at home. Yeah. Like a grilled cheese sandwich. Appetizers. Liang okay. tai. Cool side dishes. Non hot meal. dishes. All right. All right. So yeah. what 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 are we starting with? Yi dan tofu is like the most classic. Which is the duck yeah. egg tofu. Mmm. Oh my god. You know, for a lot of Americans, this thousand year old egg creeps them out. I they know. They cannot do it. No, I know. Like factor. chicken feet. Yeah. The mm -hmm. tofu is actually very plain. Like yeah. the taste, but the, the A kind of like brings it up to like another level. Yeah. Look at how soft it is. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. So this is beef tripe salad. Yeah. What? Yeah, I would never order a salad of this, and especially sometimes, Andrew, this is the thing that I ask to not put in the foot. Yeah, no, you're not usually a fan of tripe. Mmm. Oh, I'm good. No. Oh, it's actually sweet. It's better when you put the chili sauce on it. It's good, huh? Mm. With the chili sauce? Insider. Chang yuan bai cai. Spicy cabbage salad. Mm. Mm. Why is everything so sweet? Okay, so usually it shouldn't be sweet. I think they put sugar in it. Okay. Yeah. But they're trying to appeal to the mass market because if you guys don't know, this spot, Beijing Pie House, would you believe it, is on the same street as a McDonald's, a mm, Starbucks, yeah. a 85C bakery, mm. taco spots, hot pot spots, a boiling crab. It wasn't always this way though. Liang ban dou ya. Mung bean sprouts. So there's actually mung bean noodles along with the sprouts. Mm. Mm. I never had that. This should be a taste for this one. Wow. You know, with the you know, sour taste. I like this. This was good. Yeah. Yo, wow. no, Andrew, this is the first yeah. time in my life I would ever say. The tripe was the best. Xianbing. Chinese meat pies. Wait, what's the tones on Xianbing? Xianbing. No, that's like super Mandarin thing, but usually you should say with a northern accent. Xianbing. Xianbing. It's the lamb. I got the lamb. Wow. I got the one with fennel. Mmm, I got the house special. I have shrimp, um. pork. You know what I like about Xianbing though? They're very easy to hold. It's kind of like a 
if you guys have heard of like Australian meat pies or something, that's like kind of a very regular food that you can grab and go. Warning about shinbings, and they warn you this when you order it, that if you eat it fresh, it is super hot. The juice and the soup inside can burn the top of your no, mouth. It can't your explode tongue. on You can only eat the lamb one in winter. It's yeah. so heavy, it's so meaty. I really like the house special though. Oh, the, the house? Egg, the shrimp, the pork. Okay, this lamb one tastes so juicy and there's like so much meat in it. Mm. It feels like, even if it's like $20, I feel like it's worth it. These are shanbings. These are, these are everyday foods. These are served to students. These are served to workers. These are served at home before you go out um, or as a snack. Like this is the fuel of Beijing. This one's favorite, my favorite. What's that special? One? The special. How yeah. special? Usually when we think of pies, we're thinking of like a baked pie, like a crust. Yeah. Like an apple pie, mm -hmm. a rhubarb pie, yeah. pecan pie. I, I would say to Western people, it might call them meat pucks or meat discs. Jiu tai ji dan. Chive and egg meat pie. Mm. No meat though. With a little bit of okay. fun si. There's something that you you didn't expect in there. Really? Try it. You got it? What's in there? What else? What shrimp. else is in there? Yes! Yeah, shrimp! Shami. Oh my gosh, can you see that? These are little tiny mini shrimps that are salted. When I look at it, I think it's like a six. When we actually try it with the shrimp in it, it's like definitely in line. You know Beef and scallion, Chinese meat pie. Beef and scallion can't go wrong. Oh no. 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 Don't say like a shao long bao. Mm. That don't, no, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, watch this, chili oil. Either this one or the house special. Mm. Yeah, this one's kind of heavy like the lamb. Yeah. That the best thing to dip the shambing into is a mixture of soy sauce and vinegar. Mm. Yeah, this one, yeah. Mm. I think this one tastes the most like a dumpling, like yeah. a dumpling. Yeah, when you dip the sauce, it's like dumpling. It tastes like the filling in a beef way tall. All right, here's my thing about uh, the house special. I really like the house special, but it didn't, feel like as much xian bingy. Yeah. This has to go number one. Yeah. How special, and then jiu uh, tai ji dan. I agree with him. I'm gonna go with the lamb xian bing. That was straight that was like in the cold. You're gonna only eat that when you're about to go battle and climb over the great wall. And then tea to wash down the fatty, fatty boomba laddie sherbing. I'm gonna call them sherbings from now on because it's Sherby. such a, mm. it's such Sherby. a share. Sherby. 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 Hold on, you know what's funny? I say mm. Yifan, um, you know, you're gonna represent like our fob friend and she goes, what? <laughs> I'm not a fob, I came on a plane. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Like, I didn't take the boat. I said, then you're boba brought over by airplane. I mean like, that's a good one. We got the Jing Dong Ro Bing, Jing Dong Meat Pie. You have the Nyu Ro Dren Bing, which is the beef roll, classic, I love it. And then you have the Jirma Jirma Shan Bing, which is the sesame oh, Shan Bing. For me, I have a sesame pancake, I have a Ma Jiang Bing. Man, that just seems like a lot. It's almost, David, it's almost like eating a peanut butter sandwich. Ma Jiang is actually a very Beijing thing. Yeah, that, that's like, that's like the Chinese peanut butter sandwich. No, yeah. it is. This is like sweet mahjong. Yeah. It tastes oh like, it, 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 that's the closest thing I can compare to. Yeah. Okay, now I have the beef roll. The new roll jam bean. Mm. The roll jam bean. Andrew, this is like, that's like probably a top 10 dish for you. I'm no, but when one. we first moved to the 626, oh you was going. No, you know why? Because the first 626 was the first time I ever had access to it. This Jing Dong meat pie. Plenty of scallions and plenty of layers. It's more like a pastry, it has multiple layers, but the uh, the hockey puck sh shan bing is like juice filled. Pretty good. What I love about Nero jam bings though is the fresh onion and cilantro. Beef, hoisin sauce, wrapped all in a freshly fluffy and chewy bing. I love it. Okay, let me try the mahjong bing. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm. You tried it? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's run jen. You just got run run run. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Aaron, this Jing Dong Ro bing is way better than Ken Ken. Put ice cream on top of this mahjong bing. Why? It's like a pizuki. This paste reminds me of peanut butter. Mm. And this bing kind of reminds me of a cookie. 
So I took cookie and peanut butter, put ice cream on it. To me, that makes a lot so, of sense. So Andrew, what did you think of Yifan's very organic reaction? Did you like? What? Well, I'm not offended, but I I was a little caught off guard. I just can't. I, just I was can't. a little like, huh? Okay, all right. Why I did that reaction is because, you know, like Chinese, we are kind of like sensitive to cold stuff, you know, in terms of food. People think, oh, cold stuff is not good for, you know, like digestions, not to mention ice cream. Like, you put something, like, put ice cream, ice cream on your food. Oh, put ice cream on something hot is bad. I mean, it's like, I can't relate to that. But you know what, Yifan, as an ABC, and you being a Chinese international student, yeah, Chinese citizen, right? Yeah. Chinese passport, you got it. I yeah. got an American passport. Yeah. I think we can still be Peng Yo. We are! <laughs> we are! Man, there's some tension there, Yifan. I'm glad we got through it though. Real <laughs> friends. Jammer. Jammer. Yifan, you're my jammer. We're on to our last dishes here at Beijing Pie House. Um, they actually have a lot of those shandings that you guys should come over and try. You need Joe cornmeal kanji. Will here at Beijing Pie House said to eat it with some sugar. Yeah. I'm gonna try it first without. All right. Without. Like super plain. Without sugar. Mmm. Warm to the soul. I wow. like it. Out of all the things that we've eaten that are very heavy, it's kind of uh, a nice switch up. And it's comparable to an oatmeal, grits, a cream of wheat. Yeah, the, actually the millet kanji, obviously it doesn't have a strong taste, but I actually really enjoy it. I, I want to say that the meal that we just ate, obviously this was a nice version, high quality version, LA version, a very common food. Well, this it was, was working class. It food. was the equivalent of the elevated grilled cheese spot. LA street tacos. Yeah. New York bagels, so, bacon, egg, and cheese. What do you think about like people trying more of the Chinese food that's more like tier one or tier two, not just the tier three, you know? I mean, usually shouldn't be in China, even in China, not many people would try it every day, you know? Because it's like more in northern part in Beijing. So not all Chinese so, people. Yeah. In like, China, eat shenmin. Yeah, my mom More never liked shenmin. My mom liked because he's like two southerners. Right. You know? But here, I think this place is too fancy just for shenmin, actually. But, but is it like, weird to see it come in at a different level? Like, it's not like. Like, it's shenmin. You know, maybe. Like, it's not. I mean, yeah. Because anytime one culture goes to another culture, they can shift their image. So yeah. even if like you are. Like tacos, right? Yeah. Like tacos. In China, in San Li Tun, tacos are like pretty popular. People consider it's very fancy food, and mm. you go there with like your date, you know? Pizza Hut is considered fancy. Even McDonald's yeah, is considered one KFC level up. Yeah, KFC in China. What do you think ABCs could like add if we want to? I mean, they're definitely gonna view you guys as Americans, no matter how you speak Chinese. So like, oh, America, speak English to us. So I think it's just like, be more like genuine and then try to learn Chinese culture and embrace the, your mother culture. Be the bridge between China and America. I'm living in the winter in Dongjimen. Brick, brick cold. Super man. cold, right? Uh, one day I wake up and my hair's looking crazy and I have this really uh, cheap looking jacket on that somebody gave me because it was so cold, right? And I go up there and my hair's looking crazy. I'm struggling to order the, sh the the roja more like it's hard for me to say it that day like my Chinese was not coming out good <laughs> and you hear the guy at the stall say hey kanta 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 make sure he pays make sure he pays <laughs> so basically he thought I was uh, gonna take the roja more yeah. and run away you know like oh, oh yeah yo you got uh Timey, so man. I have been mistaken for a non-standard Chinese thief. All right, guys, we're gonna end off on that story. Real stories from Beijing. Here we are with Yifan. Follow her down at the links down below. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to Beijing Pie House. Hey guys, in the comments below, let me know what other types of Chinese food you guys want us to discover or other types of Asian food. Um, thank you for our guest, Yifan. You added that authentic Chinese north to south element. I appreciate it and we had a great discussion. Okay, all right everybody, thanks for watching that video. Subscribe, turn on your notifications. 
Follow us down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Yo, can you real quick break down for the audience, Yifan? Mm -hmm. What are the major Chinese social networks? Kuai Shou, Douyin for short video. Douyin, Kuai Shou. Yeah, and Weibo. Weibo is for, for like slightly longer videos, but under 15 minutes. And also like and, China's Twitter. And, and also writing. Like yeah, writing yeah, things. yeah, writing. Writing things on Weibo. Yeah, and also Bilibili for like more, it's kind of like China's YouTube, but it's like not that mass audience.